Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Here we are playing Sea of Stars. It's collect a quest again. Uh, and <laughs> I, uh, I know I said that the last episode was going to be a patron-only episode. Uh, and I amended that after I did it. So I, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it. Because so much interesting stuff keeps happening while I'm doing this. So why not? Here we go. Okay, so we're leaving here. So, I did confirm Bob the Builder did indeed replace Gerard the Constructionist. And I'm having a lot of really mixed feelings about it. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I caught myself doing the thing that you do where you want to defend somebody that you really like. There's a wheels champion left there. I gotta do some wheels. Um, but also, like, I don't know, man. Like, everything I know about him is that he's a good dude and, like, is pretty meticulous about those sorts of things. And, um, wait, did I finish? No, I didn't finish Wraith Island. No, there's no way I did. Um... I think we gotta go back through the... Let's go back to Spooky Island. Um, um, and I think it was one of those things where... Um, oh, she's chewing. I think it was one of those things where I was like, I just, I hate the way it was done. And I I hate the way that, um, I, I, I just don't like the idea of needing to do a hit piece every time you want to hold a public persona accountable for something. Um, because I, I think it seems clear that there was something a little bit... Uh, should be a colored flame or leave this place in shame. Okay, let's go to the flooded graveyard. Um, because, like, I, I think Gerard's over his 10-plus year, like, public-facing career as a YouTuber has demonstrated himself to be a pretty reasonable and accountable guy so I kind of hate it that like the way that this all came to light was a series of like five shock value videos that were sort of like hit pieces um and that just kind of didn't I don't know I think there's a time and a place for um holding people accountable in a very public way and in a way that kind of doesn't take any prisoners maybe for lack of a better way of putting that um this is a weird little boo-boo um and i don't know it just didn't feel like this was the right time for that and and again maybe it's because i am can I go around here? Man, it certainly looks like there's something over there, huh? Um, can I go through there, or is that all just... That's probably not goable, huh? Um, buddy, careful! <laughs> um, I feel like this was the kind of situation where... Like, you got to look at the individual's body of work and understand what kind of person they are. Um, and again, maybe that's my bias. Like, I have really enjoyed um, Gerard's content over the years. I have really 
um, had a lot of fun like with his stuff. I have really enjoyed Super Beard Bros. Um, I have been like, ah, man, I did not time those right. I have been pretty like, um, man, I've been, uh, like, I don't know, several times been like, hey, I really like the stuff that he's doing in terms of, like, game preservation. And, um, right, so, like, I, there's part of it when a public persona kind of comes under fire for something that makes you feel like you're, like, something you feel is at stake, you know? Um, like, something about you is being threatened. Um... I already got this. Um, because when somebody says, like, hey, this person is bad, it kind of feels like a personal attack. Like, hey, this person is bad, and so are you because you like them, right? Like, that's that's something that um, can feel really personal. And I think I had a moment of that where I was like, ugh, why, do, why is this happening? I've, I've read about the situation. I can't get over there. Um... And, and my sort of response to it is, honestly, it sounds like this is the kind of thing that's like a, a problem with, if I were wanting to be really spicy, I might call it something like the charity industrial complex. Um, and that's because, yo, um, that's because I think that charities, uh, like registered ones, are often, they've been structured in ways that allow them to evade. Hi, buddy. Hi. You want to come up? This is a great time to come up. Come on. Will she come up? Will she? Will she do it? Come on. You want to come up? I don't get, I don't know why. It's like she has to come up on her own, or maybe it's a game. What's here? Whoa. Uh. Okay. This is new. Okay, I just discovered Vincent Valentine's home here. Huh. Um. The all of the legal stuff having to do with charities is has has been put together by people who this is gonna sound cynical, but like uh, there's a lot to back this up, like. People who use charities to do good stuff and also to hide money and to make sure that money doesn't go to things that they are ideologically against. Um, usually uh, something like, I don't want my money to be taxed. Um, again, I, I know that sounds a little cynical, but like that's pretty well documented, right? If I give a bunch of money... I can make sure the government doesn't have anything to do with it. Um, you know what? I'm going to dash strike with him again. I can make sure that, um, you know, I get something out of this money. And also, it goes where I want it so that people with my interests can use it in a way that I, I deem like, appropriate and valuable. Um, what's this all about? Oh. I don't... I don't know that... Um, what? Oh, I can't get up there. Whoops! Oh, well, nope, that's not it. Um... So again, I I know that sounds cynical, but like that's just kind of the way it goes. Um, and 
so what I want to be clear that I'm saying is not, oh, I guess that's what Gerard was doing, right? Like, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's really easy for somebody who doesn't know the ins and outs of that to, like, fall prey to the problems of, well, I just undid that. I just undid what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do that. Um, to fall prey to like all of the silly loopholes and things that that come with that. Um, and my judgment of the situation seems to be Gerard and his siblings were kind of like, hey, we're going to let somebody else kind of be in charge of this and it's just going to be fine. Um, and that isn't what happened. And I think that some credit is due to um, Gerard sort of taking on the, um, oh, he's back. Um, sort of taking on the responsibility to be like, all right, I'm gonna respond to this point by point. I'm gonna show the receipts. I'm gonna be accountable. Um, and I'm gonna make sure like people still have faith in us as a uh, you know people who do a charitable organization. I don't mind the cold if I could only remember. Um, Okay, I don't know how to help you, dude. No, ah, I missed. Um, let's moonerang. Uh, so yeah, I that's and and look, I could be totally wrong about that, right? I could be swindled. You know, I I could be getting it wrong. Oh, he's going to do a big old chomp. Oh no. Ow. Um, right? Like, maybe that's just what he wants me to think. But I think in these kinds of situations, you just have to look at what someone's... Oh! Remember this? We gotta write this down. I think you gotta look at somebody's history. And I, I think Gerard's history is positive. Um, red, green, purple. So we're gonna go zoop, 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 zoop. These kind of look like kanji, but I don't know Japanese, so. Okay. I don't know how to get in there, but I do know a place where we can put that in. Um,. Huh. He wants cold stuff. So maybe I gotta go back to Cold Mountain. Or whatever it's called. Okay, going back into the Boo Boo Tower. Hmm. Wait. This is the Necromancer's Lair. I don't want to go into the Necromancer's Lair. I want to go into the Half Sunken Tower, but I don't know what that is. Um... I think it's the other way. Well, okay. So we know we got to come back here. Into the flooded graveyard. Which, 10 out of 10. Very good. Very spooky. Very excellent. Um, wait. Okay, let's go. Ferryman. I want to go back home, please. Thank you. I shall take you to the entrance. Okay. So let's go. Let's go back here. Romaya's secret passage. And we'll try to input these symbols. 
Red, green. That's blue. It's purple on the other one. But... Oh, the colors are different. Okay, that's the one that matches green. Um, well, that's totally different. Okay, that one matches. Wait a second. Oh, that changes the colors. Okay. I want to make that... Oh! Oh, I did it! Okay. Whoa! Yo, this is intense. Where's this gonna take me? Hello? Where are we going? Mm. Yo! Let's go! Oh, I missed again. Okay. Nice! Bonk, bonk. Ooh, so many bones! Excellent. Romaya's journal. What would that be under? Under here, maybe? No? Oh. She would not be pleased. I mean, okay. Ah! A journal. It seems like it belongs to the mistress. But these entries have my handwriting. Ah, yes. <laughs> I had forgotten all about the estate. Basking in the summer sun and the flowers. They were beautiful. I wish that I could go there again. I wish. Hello? I got a yellow flame. The ferryman will know what to do with that. Okay. Not gonna lie. I don't know what to do with it. I'm gonna go ahead and save just for safety's sake. Man, there is so much there's so much going on oh well I can't Ugh. can I go no Can I jump back up here? No. Okay, well. Nope. Okay. Oh, that's right. Okay, here we go. I can just go this way. 
Oh, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna do some uh, some trivia. Um, I have a Jeopardy tearaway calendar that I didn't do because I left it in my office all semester and I really just didn't hardly ever go to my office on campus. This was back in the spring. Let's see what he has to say. Greetings, CQ Passage. Oh no, that's, well, okay. Let's go yellow flame. Um, yellow. I shall take you to the half sunken tower. Wait, is this a new place? I think I th thought this was a thing I had done, but I guess not. I guess I just assumed that the, the other place up on the hill was the half sunken tower, but like I said, it's been a couple months. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I got these little Jeopardy boys, and, uh, yo, this is cool. Let's save here for sure. Um, and, uh, so I wanted to do them just for, uh, just for trivia. First, let's see what the deuce is going- Oh, nasty boys. Are these extra bad nasty boys? Whoa. Okay. Wow, these guys are as strong. Yeah. They are not messing around. Chunk chunk. Okay. Goodbye to you. Ouch. Zonk bow. Oh no. He's gonna do a chomp chomp, but he's like a stronger chompy boy. Zepzow. Okay. Let's get some apples. Whoa, that was a good chunk of experience. I think we can turn off. Uh. We can turn that off while we're doing new stuff. Takes me back down. Um, so this first one, on Valentine's Day 1962, this first lady took viewers on a televised tour of the White House. Actually, you know what would be really interesting? If I kind of walked y'all through like my process of like how I answer trivia, especially when like, you don't always know, right? Can I, I guess I can't go up there, maybe? What? That certainly looks like a place I can go up. Maybe I'm not close enough to it. Oh, there we go. Um, so I'm looking for, I'm looking for clues in the question that are gonna give me um, ways to narrow down. Um, Um, potential answers, and basically, talk gone. These guys are tough. Oof. Boy! He's got a lot of hit points. Basically, uh, it doesn't matter, like, I don't need to know, like, anything about um, a televised tour of the White House, right? Like this is this is a pretty common way of writing trivia questions. It's like, you, you want, what's happening here? Ow. 
right? You want to um, write them in such a way that you kind of like misdirect, right? The question isn't really about a tour of the White House. The question is, who was first lady in 1962? And um, if you can get really good at sorting through what the question within the question is, um, you you can. Um, hmm. I might actually do this. Um, you can... Finding the question within the question, uh, right, is is what you're wanting to do there. That's what I'll do. Um, ooh, how do I get over there? So the question within the question, right, it's not... Who gave a tour of the White House? It's who's the first lady in 1962. It was Jackie Kennedy. Um, can I get over here? Yes! Come to me, Rainbow Conch. Um, so, yeah. Jackie Kennedy, or Jackie Onassis. Um, but, uh, oh, that's it. Still, we're, we're going to a place called the Half Sunken Tower, and we've encountered exactly zero towers. There we go. Um, oh, that's nice. Peaches, peaches, peaches. I guess I'll safety save here. You know what? Let's rest. kind of wish I hadn't used that bula bula. Oh, no, I used the yakitori shrimp. How do you say bula bula bezi? Bu bula bez. I don't know. Um. No. Huh. This must be like a way back. So let's. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, peppers. Wow. Oh, nice. That's gonna bonk. It's gonna give me a way in. Oh, I gotta drop off the side here. Okay, I see. Boop. Um, so here's another one. This beaver state eagerly entered the Union on Valentine's Day. Oh, the category is it happened on Valentine's Day. Uh, eagerly entered the Union on Valentine's Day in 1859. So here's another one, right? You could look at this question several different ways. Um, what's the beaver state? Or what state entered the Union in 1859? Ooh, we got some spooky boys. Uh, it's probably Oregon, right? Yeah, I didn't know that for sure. Um, but the two clues, Beaver State, and I also knew that Oregon entered the Union around that time. Um, kind of helped me to narrow it down. Um, Joga Joe. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, he just did a little dance. Okay, we blocked. Just, oh, I had a panic moment where I was like, did I even hit record? Um, let's dash strike and get rid of these fools. Oh. Oh. Let's Venom Flurry and get rid of these fools. I think two apiece should do it. But I'm going to get four. Oh, man. Oh, they're poison resisties. 
Uh oh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Yo, what? Yo, we're dead. It's over. Oh, we're gonna lose. We lost. Well. Whoops. That stunk. <laughs> I think we gotta do this one totally differently. I think we gotta focus on the nasty boys. Yeah, man, that's a powerful attack. Woof, dog. Um, okay. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I should get, no, oh, I didn't get rid of the one. Ugh. Okay, here comes the bubble time. I, wow, I did a bad job of blocking that. Go dash strike. Well, I got rid of the one. Here comes the other one. Boy, howdy. Bump bump. Oh, he's doing his little dance again. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, got it. Um, speed, it happened on Valentine's Day. Speed is a clownish servant to Valentine in this comedy set in Romeo's town. This is a tough one. So I'm I'm getting Shakespeare play. So that narrows it down. Clownish servant to Valentine set in Romeo's town, which means it's in Verona... Gosh. I'm going to go back out here and do this. What else takes place in Verona? I don't... My Shakespeare is not strong. Um, Speed, Valentine. It's probably a comedy... You don't really have clownish servants in tragedies. Although you do have Rosencrantz and Guildenstern in Hamlet. Uh, as you like it. Oh, two gentlemen of Verona. I, I was thinking that line like, the gentleman from Verona approacheth or whatever. But I didn't know that there was a play called Two Gentlemen of Verona. Um, oh, where did they come from? Zaba zoo zoo zoo. Okay, we want a beefy boy to punch. Punch! He's vulnerable to being punched. Bing. Ow! Give me that crescent arc, baby. Full power. Yo, rock on. Here comes a silly dance. Oh, man, I hate it when they heal each other. Okay, let's get rid of that fool, because he's really the dangerous one here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I didn't block it. Okay, here is uh, a new category called Unusual Looking Animals. Nice. This, uh, sorry, the griffin species of this bird, he died. He's gone. 
The griffin species of this bird has a featherless head, perhaps to keep blood from matting while eating a carcass. Probably a vulture, uh, right? I'm just thinking of like bald birds. They are carrion eaters. Yeah, vultures, right? So that's just like a little bit of my process. Like people are always wondering like, oh, how are you so good at trivia or whatever? They're not always wondering that. I mean, but I am very good at trivia. And where does this? Oh, it helps me hop off. Um, bonk. Oh, I can go under the water. What do we got here? Obsidian ore. Take me down to the underwater city where the tower is sunken and the girls are prettier. Oh, won't you tree trees? What? Oh, won't you please plant some trees? <laughs> Oh no. We got a spooky gal. It's the gal from the town. That is a pile of organs. Oh no, it's Ramaya. Oh, I thought that was the, whatever. What? You again? How did you find this place? You're keeping Duke Aventry in this world against his will. We're ending this. Oh no, you don't. Don't what? You don't steal my journal and barge in here making demands. The magic object keeping him tethered. Where is it? The locket is mine and mine alone. So it's a locket. Uh, the, mm, the nerve. The coarseness. Not again. Have you met her before? She doesn't seem to like you very much. Enough! There will be no mercy for you this time. You will pay with your life. Prepare yourselves. This is new music. Okay, so we're going to go disorient. And then we're gonna hit her, and she'll give us some of that. There we go. Okay, cool. Hmm. We're gonna disorient her again. And then we're gonna hit her. Nice. Okay, here comes a normal attack. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's a pile of bones! Oh, that's right. I forgot she had those nasty, nasty flesh piles. Let's go sunball, baby. Yo! Combo me, baby. Um, Arcane and Lunar Magic to all targets. Nice. What's she gonna do? Oh, that was a giant eyeball. Oh, man. Okay, let's think about this. We need... Two sword hits. Let's go dash strike. Well, it's not, it's gonna hit her. Oh, okay, I can't hit her until now. Okay. Let's swap here and disorient again. Nice. It's okay, bud. Okay. Nice. 
Nice. No, that's... Uh, I can't do that. And she's the only one... Ah, man, I don't have anything that's blunt, and I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Excuse me. Holy moly, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, let's just do it this way. Oh, man. All right, here she goes. Hey, get ready to lose, you butthead. Steven, can we say butt? Yeah, he says that's okay. Boo, 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 boo. <laughs> Fellfire rain. Ah, that wasn't that bad. Ah, I want to get rid of that flesh pile. Whoa, that was intense. What is this? Here comes an eyeball. Oh, man. But she is plumb out of magic points, as are most of us. Necromancy! Ah! Rats. Okay. We gotta get some... Okay, stick him over there. Oh, ah, man, she did her bone pile thing again. Hmm. Oh, boy, that's not good at all. Oof. Okay, we got another combo back. What is this? Bone cage? Bone cage! Oh, man. Ah, oh, man. Not again. Here comes a bone man. Bone man. <laughs> ah, boy. Actually, this is a really good time to do that. Nice. Okay. Get away! Okay, you guys are in trouble now. Altered beast. Hello, it's me! I'm a baby Metroid! What's up, idiot? Oh, hey, it's okay, bud. Oh, there's my alarm. Not an eyeball. Oh, he's Protech. Do I have enough? Yes. Nice. OK. 
Okay. I kind of want to get rid of these piles. It's okay, buddy. Get away. Yes, goodbye, flesh pile. Can't get rid of all of it, but. Uh, well, that's good. So we only got to deal with this one jerk. Oh, man, that guy's tough. Blocked and report. I don't like that. Huh. Okay. There we go. Let's go Moonerang, and we can get rid of all three of those. And we'll have her halfway done. Bong, 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 bong. Bon, 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 bon. Nice. Yep. And one more should do it. Let's go. Okay, just keep putting on the damage here. Oh, I'm maxed out for combos. Ah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> That was huge. Okay, here comes a normal attack. Ah! Oh, she doing bone time. Oh, we're hosed. Huh. That's, uh, well, this is what happens to us. Ah! Oof, okay. Let's get... Oh, no, Professor Bonjo! Oh, man. Oh, man, how can I do poison and arcane? I don't know that I can. C can I? Oh, I can disorient her. Okay, there we go. And then we'll get the boy back. Bist! Let's go! Bonk, bonk. Mending light for power. Yeah. Nice. Actually, I want to do. Yes, the most ultimate of ultimates. Luana's Might Retribution. Hmm, I think I want to kick some butt today. Bye! Yeah! 
Surpresa! Okay. Let's go! Thirteen thousand. Let's go! Bing, 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 bing. Yeah! Bing, 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 yeah! Um. Physical defense. Yeah. I'm gonna be the beefiest of all teams. Make me more powerful. Make me a yo-yo man, he cried. Hmm. Wait, wait, I, I yield. Well fought, my lady. Don't you start. It's okay, Romaya. Just give us the locket and we'll be on our way. Mm. Insolent fools with their powers. They didn't earn barging in here foiling my plans. What do you mean we didn't earn it? Here's our locket. Now leave. Ooh, the Aventry locket. And tell Duke Aventry that he's fired. Understood? He's not quitting. He's fired. My lady, why are you so angry all the time? You know, in my village, psst, forget it. Excuse me? Who do you think you are? Let's just go, okay? Yeah. Time to go. <laughs> Boop. And... We out. Hey, next time I peep place, we're going to do something with this Aventry locket. There's so many things in this game. I can't believe it. See you next time. Bye. You said, hi, welcome to Pete Place. Hi, welcome to the authoritarian takeover of Pete Place. <laughs> well, everyone does the face of attack. Endlessly spin the ship. Hey, remember when one shark attacked me? Up from the grave here, Thanks for the coins. Here's my poster. The name is Ramen Flowbottom. I hope they remember you, shark. Orlingfun. No, I'm trying to not get hit by these things. Everything's normal. Shimbo. <laughs> Okay. Consider this interview concluded.